our First Amendment freedom to speak and worship freely is the greatest deterrent to dictatorship in America, and Mr. Obama has taken steps to destroy it. And he's using the most brutal and hated government agency to do it, the IRS. <laughs> Why not? Mr. Obama and the IRS seem to have about the same level of compassion. Now, it is painfully clear after years of Obama policies that he has committed a long, long list of crimes against the American people. And if it wasn't for his skin color, giving him immunity from both media scrutiny and congressional checks and balances, he would have been prosecuted long ago. Shame on those people. Now, the people who are speaking out, exposing Obama's corruption and unlawful behavior are those of us in the digital media, right here on the internet, and the grassroots citizen movements for freedom. Now the IRS is creating new rules for groups that will slap a heavy tax on both the work and messages of grassroots movements, even taxing the volunteers who step up to make a difference, anyone who is involved in what they call candidate-related political activity. In other words, the IRS will be able to punish anyone who criticizes corrupt politicians like Obama or Hillary or John Boehner, or who supports good political candidates who will stand against the immorality and foolish economics of Washington, D.C. If Obama gets his way, all politically related speech will have to be reported to the IRS, that all leaders of the Tea Party or church, church groups will have to be on file with the IRS. Now, never before have such Gestapo tactics been seen in the USA. Now, for you liberal college graduates out there, the Gestapo was Adolf Hitler's intimidation thugs who terrorized anyone who opposed the Nazis. Now, Obama will deny that he had anything to do with yet another unconstitutional, illegal abuse of government power, but Obama's fingerprints are all over it. Want proof? The labor unions are exempted. The thugs that destroy businesses and intim intimidate entire towns and who always vote Democrat will be free to engage in whatever activity they want. Now, believe it or not, John Boehner, the head of the Republicans, just came out demanding that Obama end this harassment. Don't believe him. The only way these new IRS rules can take effect is with congressional approval. Boehner and his rhino pals could have already stopped it with a House vote. The fact that they haven't done that tells me that Boehner is planning to do yet another flip-flop and give Obama what he wants. And you can bet that the new rules will go into effect in time for Hillary's campaign. Now, there's still time for American citizens to weigh in on this. Go to www.regulations.gov to see the new regs and comment on them. This can be stopped. Be warned, people. Under Obama, the IRS has grown to an army of 90,000. Americans better prepare. The IRS war on us is only just beginning. Now, Obama's on his way out, but Hillary is on her way in. Give her an army of IRS thugs to sick on the American people, and the nightmare will be unleashed, guaranteed. Never forget that Hillary's biggest complaint about the White House was that there was nobody mean enough to get things done. <laughs> well, if Americans are stupid enough to allow Hillary into the White House, meanness will rise to a whole new level. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America, bless God, again.